let's say that we have an exponential function, h of n, and since it's an exponential function, it's going to be the form a times r to the n, where a is our initial value and r is our common ratio, and we're going to assume that r is greater than zero. And they've given us some information on h of n. We know that when n is equal to two, h of two is 144. That h of four is 324. That h of six is 729. So based on the information here, let's see if we can actually figure out what A and R are going to be. And like always, pause the video and, and, and try to give it a go. All right, now let's, let's do this together. So I'm gonna focus on R first, the common ratio. And if we had successive ends, if we had H of three, then we could just find the, the ratio between H of three and H of two and r would just come out of that. Or if the ratio between h of four and h of three, we could solve explicitly for r. But we can get pretty close to that. We can just find the ratio between h of four and h of two. So h of four, the ratio between h of four and h of two is going to be equal to, well, we know h of four is 324, and h of two is 144. And we could simplify this a little bit. Let's see, if we, if we simplify this, we would get, they're both divisible by two. If we divide them both by two, this one in the numerator, 324 divided by two is 162. 144 divided by two is 72. Let's see, we can divide by two again. 81 over 36. Divide by two, well actually, no, we can't divide by two anymore, but we can divide by nine now. So 81 divided by nine is nine, and 36 divided by nine is four. So this thing can be rewritten as 9 fourths. But we could also rewrite this ratio by using, using this, this form of an exponential function. So we could also say that this is going to be equal to, h of four is going to be a times r, now n is four, so r to the fourth power, and h of two is going to be a times r to the second power. a times r to the second power. And this simplifies nicely. A divided by A, cancel is just one. And then R to the fourth divided by R squared. Well, that's gonna be R to the four minus two power, or R, it's gonna be R to the second power. It's gonna be R squared. And so we have a nice little equation set up. R squared needs to be equal to nine fourths. So let me write that down. R squared is equal to nine fourths. And R needs to be greater than zero, so we could just say R is going to be the principal root of nine fourths which is equal to three halves. So we were able to figure out R. So now how do we figure out, how do we figure out A? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can think about uh, A is going to be what H of zero is equal to. So we could do what I could, I guess we could call a tabular method, where, let me set up a little table here. So a little table, so if this is N and this is H of N, so n is zero, we don't know what h of zero is just yet, it's going to be a. We don't know what h of one is yet. We do know that h of two is 144. And we do know, since the common ratio is three halves, if we take h of one and we multiply it by three halves, we're going to get h of two. And if we take h of zero and multiply it by three halves, we're going to get h of one. So h of one is going to be 144 divided by three halves. So let's write that down. h of one is equal to 144 divided by three halves, uh, which is going to be 144, 144 times two over three. And let's see, 144 divided by three is going to be equal to is it, uh, let's see, one three goes into, I'll just do this by hand, my brain doesn't work that well while I'm making videos. Three goes into 14, four times, four times three is 12, subtract, so it's going to be, oh, I see, it's going to be 48. Three goes into 24 eight times, eight times three is 24, you have no remainder. So this is going to be 48 times two, which is going to be equal to 96. So this is going to be 96. And so if we want to figure out h of zero, we just divide by three halves again. So h of zero is 96 divided by three halves, which is equal to 96 times two over three. 96 divided by three, let's see, it's going to be 32. So this is going to be 30, 
32 times, did I do that right? Yep, 32 times 2, which is equal to 64. 64. And so just like that, we figured out that A is equal to 64, and R, and R is equal to 3 halves. So we can write H of N, we can say that H of N is equal to 64, is equal to 64 times 3 halves, times 3 halves, our common ratio, to the nth power. Now there's another way that we could have tackled this instead of this tabular method. We could have just solved for A now since we know R. We know, for example, we know, for example, that H of 2, which is going to be equal to A times, we know what our common ratio is, it's 3 halves to the second power, is going to be equal to 144. And so we could say A times 9 over 4 is equal to 144. And so we can multiply both sides times the reciprocal of 9 over 4. So we multiply both sides times 4 over 9, times 4 over 9. That cancels with that, that cancels with that. And we are left with A is equal to, well let's see, 144 divided by 9 is going to be, is going to be, I want to say it's equal to 16. Is, is that right? I think that is right. Yep, and then 16 times 4. So this is going to be 16 and 1. 16 times 4 is 64, which is exactly what we got before. And so this actually, this method, now that I look at it, is actually a good bit easier, but they're equivalent. And I like this one because you get to see the common ratio in action, and you get to see that the initial value is the initial value. It is h of 0. But either way, once you figure out r, you, and you know one of the uh, h of, you, you know what the function is at a value, you can solve for a. And frankly, if you knew a and you knew what the function was for a given n, you could likewise solve for r. So hopefully you enjoyed that.